it is time. So a little while back, I made a video about not up potting your hardwood cuttings yet. Look at this. The buds are starting to open up. We've got rhododendron Jody looking beautiful. Lots of rhododendrons about to start opening up and showing their true beauty. Look at that. So I, sh I just posted a picture to Instagram of this yesterday. I think it was yesterday of Snow Lady and it's opened up here in the hoop house. Lots of things are about, look at that. Look at all those massive buds, man. So cool looking. That's North, it's an orange color. Beautiful, it's still got a little ways to go, but uh, let's come on over here. We gotta get rid of all this stuff, start cleaning up. This is what we're looking at today. So these two pots right here are those mulberry cuttings that I did last, I think it was early spring, late winter, early spring. And recently I did a video about not up potting your hardwood cuttings quite yet. It was a month or two ago. It was just too early. Now the buds are starting to swell and that's exactly when I like to up pot my hardwood cuttings. The following year after we've rooted them and they've gotten uh, all summer to grow and root and do well in the pots, we've got roots all throughout both these pots. They finally went dormant again last fall and now those roots are tough and hard and they're ready to up pot. We are in the late winter and the buds are starting to swell so we're going to be entering a growing season here soon and it's time guys. It is just time. So we're going to pull these out of here and break all of these guys apart for you, show you what the roots look like, show you how I'm gonna break them all apart and I'm gonna up pot them. Now, I don't need all of these world's best and all of these Pakistani mulberries. I'm excited about having them in my collection here and growing them on the property, but a bunch of these are gonna get sent to a couple friends. One of them in particular is gonna be Mark Walker of the Overworked Gardener. I'll put a link to his channel down below. Here's the deal. I'm gonna ship a couple of these cuttings off to him and I want you guys to go over to his channel and hound him until he does a video showing you how they're growing through the summer at his place in Texas. So, you know, don't let him get away with anything here. I think it'd be interesting to see how these are gonna grow after propagating them here in Washington, how they're gonna grow down in Texas. I'm sure they'll grow fine. He's got lots of mulberries. He's really into them and he's gonna do a great job with them, I'm sure. So let's get these out here, get them pulled apart, and we'll get them potted up. So it's a little windy out here today. Bear with me. Hopefully the sound quality is good here, but uh, let's get these tore apart. All right, let's start with the Pakistani. So I'm going to pull this little tag out, and we will just kind of break this up a little bit here. I always get excited for this. So we know these are rooted. I did a video about rooting these, like I said, last uh, last winter, last late winter, early spring. I think I posted it in the summer sometime because I wanted to wait until they were growing really well. But uh, if you guys haven't seen that video, I'll put a link down in the description below. Here's what we've got now. These have been going through the summer grew beautifully, went dormant in the fall, and we've got a ton of mulberries. Now, I did put them all in one pot, obviously, because you never know what's gonna take, and sometimes it's easier to just stick them all in a pot and then pull them apart later. I'm not too worried about it. They've got lots of roots, and uh, the roots are hardened off now that we've gone through winter. And this is, like I've said in other videos, the best time to pull these apart and start potting them up in the winter time when the roots are dormant all right and they're actually they're coming apart really easy this guy's a little bit more stuck but there we go that's it they're already apart so i'm gonna leave a lot of you can see we got just tons of roots on in there i'm getting nice big fat buds forming i'm gonna leave some of the soil in here and a lot of this intact I want to wrap them up and ship them and I want them to stay moist and viable so somebody can just put them in a pot, plant them and they're good to go. All right. 
right, so there we are. We've got two Pakistani mulberries that I'm gonna keep for our place here and plant out on the property. I, I may just start out planting one, see how it goes. Once these things take off, I'll be able to get all the cuttings I want. And then I've got two over here. I saved the ones with the best roots to ship off because I wanna make sure they do well. Now, let's get these pulled apart. All right, so now we're left with the world's best and I'm kind of interested seeing how these roots look because when I had been watering them last summer, these cuttings required a tremendous amount of water. This pot just kept drying out day after day. And so I know these roots are solid in here. And this is a very vigorous mulberry tree. So let's get you in up close here so you can see exactly what we're dealing with. So these are the world's best. They came from Jan down in uh, Florida, I think is where I got them from. Somewhere down in that part of the country. Opposite end for me anyway. So you can see we've got lots of roots they're hardened off they are you know they've gone through winter and they are ready to pull apart here i thought that they would be well maybe they are more dense let's try to i think i've got more cuttings in this pot too i don't want to tear them up too much but this is this is what i'm talking about this is why i prefer doing this in the winter time in the late winter because these roots are so much more hardened off and tough and strong and able to withstand being tore apart like this versus if you try to do this last summer when they had just freshly rooted it just would not be healthy for them look at that nice root systems there look at this one that is just a fat root system i think i'm gonna send this one out right here in the mail because i want to make sure that the ones i send out are just healthy and strong and going to bounce back just fine you can see the buds starting to swell on those cuttings there hopefully that's picking up okay for you all right so we'll set these guys aside and then we'll just start pulling them apart all right look at that these guys are healthy healthy and strong nice rooted hardwood cuttings well, they were softwood cut. Well, no, they were hardwood cuttings when we took them last summer or last uh, late winter. And then they grew through the summer. But uh, good solid guys. So I'm going to keep the ones with smaller roots here and ship off the ones with the bigger roots. pulled apart got them all potted up we've got four of the world's best that i'm going to keep here we've got two of the pakistani and then these are our bagged up bare root essentially but there's quite a bit of mulch around them but we've got two world's best and two of the pakistani they're the nicest thickest cuttings with the nicest fattest roots and that's what i like to send to people i want to make sure that somebody's going to get plants from me they get good quality plants so there's what we've got. I'll get these fertilized up now and we'll throw some pre-emergent down on them to keep the weeds out of the pots. These will go in the hoop house and they'll just grow through the rest of this summer. The roots will fully fill out these pots and then you could actually resale these. Probably, uh, well, you could resale them this summer, but I'd like to wait till they get a little bit bigger, get some nice growth coming up a little higher, fill out with roots, and then... You could sell them the year after for shoot you can find plants like this in the nursery for up to 20 bucks sometimes i mean i i see a lot of these kinds of fruiting plants like mulberries and figs and uh raspberries blackberries in one gallon pots for 12.97 that's kind of what i see a lot of them going for now but uh shoot you just never know specialty nursery or if you were selling online you might be able to get more for them but there it is for now. I'm going to get these guys finished up.
Yes, I am running out of space, but there they are. So they're all going to sit right here for now. I've got what I say, two, four of the world's best and two of the Pakistani. I fertilized them up, put a little pre-emergent down. All I need to do now is water these guys in and they are raring to go. They will just sit here and grow on beautifully through the summer. I'll come back and do updates. I know you guys are going to want to see that, but there's really nothing else to do to them for now. I'm just going to get those other cuttings that I packaged up or rooted cuttings and we're going to ship them off and that'll be the end of that. So like I said before, Go harass Mark, the overworked gardener. Say, hey man, we want to see how those cuttings are doing. Drive nuts, guys. So there it is. Now you see exactly what I do for my hardwood cuttings. I know I did that video maybe a year or two ago where I tried to pot them up almost immediately that same summer and the roots got a little bit messed with and they didn't bounce back very well. This is what you really want to do. You stick these cuttings, in fact, you know, I'm always off on my times when I post these videos because I save clips for a long period of time so you can see how they turn out. But right now is the perfect time to start taking these hardwood cuttings and many other hardwood cuttings that you take out there. Even the evergreens, if you're going to do them as hardwood cuttings like the needled evergreens, the green giants, or even like the spruce trees, or, you know, any kind of cedars, things like that, any kind of... Uh, uh, needled or uh, broadleaf evergreens typically root better as semi hardwood cuttings in the late summer. But these needled evergreens, they do great right now. So if you want to do that or mulberries or figs or just about any other type of hardwood cutting, right now is the time. So get those cuttings stuck, guys. But then as you let them root through the summer, let them grow all summer long in the same pot that you've got them in, in the same container you've got them in. And then they'll get established all summer. They will be undisturbed. They will be able to grow to their fullest potential. And then they'll go dormant next fall, winter time. Then the roots will get hard and tough. And you can do exactly what I did here the following winter, late winter, when the buds start swelling like I showed you there. In fact, I'll go over and show you the buds real quick. I don't know if I got an up-close shot of them, but they're starting to swell, and now's the time. We're going to be heading into a growing season. The weather's warming. I don't think we're getting any more freezing temps around here or any more hard, fast frosts anyway. If we do, it's just going to barely touch down to freezing, but it'll come right back up. But now's the time. They're going to start growing. The roots are hard. They're tough. Pull them apart, get them potted up, and make it happen. Let's go take a look at those buds. All right, so an up close of how these guys are doing. It is late winter. There we go. I'm getting used to this camera. The bud's starting to swell in there. Do you see that? Little green buds right there. Let me turn this around a little bit. See that? Little green buds starting to swell in there. All these buds are starting to swell and get really nice they're just breaking out and wanting to start growing even these little guys up here these little buds right in there starting to swell that one back in there back behind there and i'm sure this summer we'll get more buds coming up along here somewhere there you got some more see those they're just starting to swell you can see that bright green growth down in there that means these guys are wanting to break they're wanting to start growing so that's what i'm talking about Smaller growth up here, but buds are starting to swell, wanting to open up, wanting to start growing right there. Looking good, guys. And today is March 18th or 19th. I think it's the 18th for anybody wondering. That's in my zone, zone 8B. Everybody's area is going to be different. If you live in 6B, it's going to be a little bit later in the season for you, but that's what we're looking for. So I hope you guys learned something from this one. Mark, I hope you enjoy your cuttings. Matt, I hope you enjoy your cuttings. They're all coming to you now. I hope you guys have a fantastic week, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.